Part 2. Crimson Flower. Ethereal Moon. Beyond Escape. It is Imperial Year 1185. Half a decade has passed since Emperor Edelgard ascended the Imperial throne. Yet the continent of Fodlan still remains lost in a tempest of turmoil and bloodshed. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, King Dimitri has welcomed Archbishop Rhea and her knights, who were driven out of Garrick Mach to the Kingdom capital. As they work to build a unified front, the war with the Empire rages on to the west. Meanwhile, Claude, leader of the Alliance, staves off Imperial intervention by strategically stirring up conflicts between Lester Lords in an effort to feign neutrality. As events unfold, Edelgard and her Black Eagle Strike Force begin to take action in an attempt to break the war's current state of deadlock. You. Yeah, I think it's funny that Claude's um, Your strategy at this point and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. In this version of the story, with so much wind, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. Pause that. It's hard to think with that voice in my ear. The earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. Right, uh I still think it's funny that Claude's strategy here seems to be saying, you know, to the other territories, hey, uh, we've got our own mess to deal with right now. We don't want to get involved with yours. Whereas in the other stories, uh, it was more like, oh no, we're all totally cool here. You don't want to start a fight with us. Believe me. Anyway. Uh, the point is, the war is dramatically different this time around. Or at least the positions are dramatically different. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Ah, I'm so sleepy. <sighs> you are a complete and utter fool. Have you not changed one bit? Get on your feet. Right now, I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? Ah, it's this guy again. Who are you, buddy? I'm just a villager here. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Oh, what do you mean, abandoned? Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Gasp. There, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know, regardless... The Imperial Army has taken over now. Five years? Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the Ethereal Moon, the year 1185. And it's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Millennium Festival? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing and all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Monastery, of course. Are you crazy? The Imperial Army is there. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you, got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. Oh, my students are waiting for me. Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Unbelievable. Did notice that uh, this time 
Mr. Anonymous Villager says uh, that the Imperial Army, army is there. The dead. If things had continued on as they were, today would have been the Millennium Festival. Oh, hey, Edelgard. Halt! Who's there? It can't be. Professor? In the Is flesh. It really you? But I searched everywhere and never found a trace. My teacher. What have you been doing all this time? Where have you been? Oh, you know, I was sleeping. Joking? At a time like this? You do realize it's been five years since you disappeared. Do you have any idea how guilty I felt? How broken my heart was? I searched high and low after you vanished. Although there was no proof, I somehow knew you were alive. All this time, I led everyone as best I could and fought with all my heart. It's been a difficult path to walk alone. <sighs> Welcome back, my teacher. I'm so happy that you're safe. Five years. Such a short time, but it feels like an eternity ago. Do you still feel the way you did all those years ago? You said then that you would fight at my side no matter how many enemies we should amass. As for me, my resolve has not faltered. I'm determined as ever to see this through to the end. Did we say that? I don't remember saying those words specifically. Let's get a closer look at the, or a better look at this reunion. Unobstructed. It's nice. I will defeat the false goddess. I will save this world from those creatures and give humanity its freedom back. So, my teacher, are you prepared to stand with me? Uh, yeah, I kind of technically already made that decision. Truly. Take the free support points, though. Now then, I assume you understand the situation at hand, yes? Uh, thing is, I really was Another asleep. Joke. Or are you telling the truth? I suppose you must be. In that case, I'll tell you all that has transpired as you slumber these past five years. And that is where we are now. The war is at a stalemate. Dimitri is the new king of Fargus. It's clear that his territory will continue to support the church. Meanwhile, Claude's leadership has thrown the alliance into chaos. He maintains neutrality in their internal conflict. The situation has created a deadlock. We've been awaiting an opportunity for our squadron to return to the monastery. With you in the fray, I believe the state of the war will shift immediately. The church, as well as the kingdom and the alliance. The time has come to eliminate them all. Church of Ceres, huh? Sedeth, the knights and the others are in prime condition. They've set up their base within the kingdom capital. The Immaculate One and her family have yet to fight on the front lines. However, we must eventually face and defeat them. It would mean a great deal to have you with us when the time comes. Good. Well then. I believe it's time for a little reunion. The Black Eagle Strike Force never lost faith. They knew you were alive and have been awaiting your return. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. All right. So one of the things uh, about this route is it is shorter than any of the others. Pizza, huh? All right, I guess we'll go through this first. Well, now, that face is certainly familiar. I am glad to see you alive and well, Professor. Professor, it's me, Bernie. Do you remember me? I can't believe you're here. I can't believe it. Is this a dream? Can we really be this lucky? This is not dreaming. Our professor is with us again. Welcome to the back. I mean, welcome back. Our group isn't the same without you. I am overjoyed to see you again. It's been so long. Seeing you again fills my heart with hope. 
Great. Now everything will be easy. Um, that's great you're safe, Professor. I'm deeply, deeply moved. Nice save, like Linhart. Like a reunion, isn't it, Professor? Everyone's happy to see you. Come on, Edelgard. You must be happier than all of us combined. She took it really hard when you disappeared, Professor. Of course, we did our very best in your absence. And there was never a day that we doubted you would return to us. Edelgard has been leading us as Emperor. But after you disappeared, it became apparent that you were her anchor. It gives me regret to be admitting this, but our power is not enough. The only one who can be meeting Edelgard's expectations is you, Professor. Most impressive of all is your uncanny ability to bring a smile to everyone's face. In the years since you vanished, we have not lost anyone from our ranks. We all longed for your presence and your leadership. Myself included. It seems fitting to view this as a new beginning for the Black Eagle Strike Force. We already have our target. Yes. We must eliminate the Alliance before moving on to fight the Kingdom and the Church. However, that doesn't necessarily mean we must occupy the entirety of the Alliance. House Regan stands against the Empire. Therefore, our target is Deirdre, the aquatic capital. We must cross the Aramid River, which separates the Empire and the Alliance. To do that, we must take the largest bridge across it. The Great Bridge of Murden. Murden connects the Monastery and the Imperial Capital to the east. It is the shortest route there. An Alliance stronghold has been built at the Great Bridge. We'll take that and then head north. At the same time, we must defeat the one who defends it, Judith von Daphne. If we can also take control of Daphne territory, it would be greatly beneficial to us. Prepare yourselves. The next battle will be a momentous one. Join me, my friends, as we begin our journey to bring peace and solace to this war-ravaged world. All right, so, uh, as I was going to say before the rest of the story unfolded, um, uh, Sure, we'll do the him. Uh, this route is shorter. Um, kind of skips a couple of battles that are in the other routes. I'll sing if I must. The utter yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's no battle where you're clearing out uh, thieves from uh, the area near the monastery. Uh, there's no battle where you have to fight off forces that, uh, well, I mean, there's no battle where you have to fight off the uh, Imperial forces, the Imperial Scout unit that noticed that people have taken up uh, occupancy in the monastery. Those two battles are just gone. We're apparently going straight to uh, the Bridge of Murden. Also, apparently, I've got certifications that I can do. Um, we'll take a look at that later. We even get to explore the monastery right away. Uh, save that for later. I do admit this is probably going to take a little longer uh, than past monastery segments because uh, not only do we have a new story, new events taking place, uh, we've got so many more like people to talk to to get their take on the situation. So, well, it is what it is. Allow me to brief you on the details of our situation. The Empire firmly controls the western portion of Fargus. However, the central and eastern regions continue to put up heavy resistance. The strongholds in these regions are Aryan Road, the Fortress City, and Ferdiad, mm -hmm. the Cumulus. That sounds about right. We cannot control Fargus until we have taken both of these cities. 
As for the Alliance, Houses Gloucester and Ordelia seem predisposed to capitulate to us. Yeah, that sounds However, right. Due to interference from Houses Regan and Goneril, we have yet to secure their cooperation. All right. Claude obviously hopes to keep the Alliance whole through diplomacy. But because we have had to focus our efforts against the Church until now, our forces have yet to meet his. We have only recently begun to take the fight to Alliance territory. I have a request for All right. Uh, I'm sure I can supply that. I don't actually have the uh, fish. Professor, I'm sorry to have dragged you into the fight again so soon after our reunion. But you appeared at a most opportune time. I'm truly humbled by your support, my teacher. Thank you. I uh, hope I'm not rusty. You may be worried, but you shouldn't be. You always manage to pull through. <laughs> Make sure you're ready to head out, okay? I do appreciate, though, that in this version of the story, Edelgard seems much more... Um, I guess down to earth is the phrase I want to use for, you know, um, for being empire of the largest territory in the continent. Professor, do you know how happy I was to hear you were still alive? I'll tell you how happy. For the past two days, I haven't had my morning or my afternoon naps. You were taking those naps every day? Well, as long as we weren't marching. Can't sleep much then. <sighs> but it's not for want of trying. Oh, uh, but you know what? I have also had morning naps and afternoon naps. I guess Hanneman's you thing is still the same. Joined us, have you? I attached myself to the Imperial Army as well. Seemed the thing to do. I feel I owe it to Edelgard to set my past feelings about the Empire aside. I am happy to help her. It's strange, isn't it? After five years, the three professors are together once more. I am most curious, though. You say you were asleep for five whole years. I guess it wasn't that different. Perhaps or it wasn't the exact same. Crest. I do look forward to investigating you in greater detail. Uh, yeah, sure, we can talk about that. I am most excited. Yeah, okay, get it. Let's see here. Alright, let's go say hi to Leone. Since she wasn't part of the reunion scene earlier. I'm so glad to see you're alright. I really regretted not being able to keep the promise I made to my mentor. I promise, huh? Captain Gerald told me that if anything should happen to him, then I should stick by you. I'm going to do just what he asked. I'll be right here to support you from now on. All right, thanks for that, Leone. Oh, black armor. Oh, if I know who that is. Well, Marianne is right here in the library, so or no, right the dorm hall. My adoptive father sent me here so our family name would be known. He doesn't care which side wins, the Empire or the Alliance. However, even if he tells me to come home, I intend to stay. I want to see this new world Edelgard dreams of. All right. Um... Move over to the monastery or the chapel, I guess. Cathedral, excuse me. What do we got here? Growing out. There's not intentional. Um, I can't tell who that is. Uh, and Linhart. Oh no, it's Ferdinand. He's just been too busy for a haircut, that's all. Well, uh, that was the honest truth. There does look good on him. 
Come on, Lola. Five years ago, the Imperial Army occupied Garrig Mock. The cathedral and several other buildings were destroyed, but we've done some repair work here and there, and we're using the buildings as a base of operations. As for me, well, the church moved its headquarters to Fargus, and I've seen no reason to follow. When I returned to Enbar, I received a summons from Her Majesty, and I chose to answer. All right, so that's why Manuela is here. Hey, Ash. What you doing? Since you came back, everyone's been smiling. Just you being here makes an incredible difference. I can't express how reassuring it is to see you. All right, that was, that was a good talk. Um, Ferdinand. How you doing, buddy? The last five years have been difficult at times. My relationship with Edelgard is rather contentious due to the incident with my father. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon my family's duties. As Duke Iyer, I must play my part in the Imperial Army. Edelgard intends to abolish the nobility, but I know I can dissuade her from doing so. She wants to abolish the nobility. You know, is she really the bad guy here? I'm just saying. Yep. Hmm. Right, is there anyone inside here? Plenty of people inside here. Hey, Raphael. <laughs> hey, Professor. What have you been up to for five years? Hope you haven't gone soft. I got myself into perfect shape. Took all five years of pushing my muscles to the limit. But look. Now yeah, you look very strong. You, you got to get training if you want to catch up. Keep on keeping on, Raphael. What's that look on your face? Surprised to see me? I'm a mercenary. A little bit. Always have been. Even when I was with the Knights of Seros. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon. But I might change my mind if you're around. Aw, she likes me. And there's Bernie in the corner. Are we leaving for battle? I've heard it's a long march. But it's fine. I've had plenty of time to stay inside lately, so I think it's time I run out. Yeah, I can do this. No more Bernie Bear. Bernie Bear? Oh, yeah. People call me Bernie Bear since I hole up in my den all the time. Not anymore, though. Oh, uh, okay, that's pretty good. I don't... I don't remember even hearing that before. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> there are a couple of faces here. Hey there. Glacian Randolph. Ah, a new face. I am Randolph von Berglus. Already met, the dude. Of this place. Wait a moment. I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, you know, five years ago. Ah, yes. You're Her Majesty's professor. You're alive? Um, oh, this is my little sister, Flage. She's just a rookie, but she's helping me as my assistant. Uh, hello, I'm Flage von Berglis. It's nice to meet you. I know I'm inexperienced, but I'm gonna do my best. You can count on me to look after my big brother. I've heard you're planning to march into Alliance territory. I'll be here to guard the fort. So you might remember Randolph, uh, in the other stories, he's the guy who's leading the scout unit, um, that spots activity at the monastery, and in, uh, the Blue Lions route, he's the one that Dimitri kind of, uh, violently executes? Oh no. He's going to torture him. Did we mercy kill him? Like, was that Violet's doing? Mercy killing that guy? I don't remember exactly. It's been too long. But uh, Flesh, uh afterwards kind of infiltrated the army uh, and, you know, tried to assassinate Dimitri before Rodrigue got in the way. So here they are. Uh, not dead. Not violent. 
Guess we'll pick up this quest from Anna for old time's sake. I hope things go back to Yeah, yeah, just I'll take the quest. Oh well, yeah, some gatekeeper. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. What's that? Do I have brothers in the church? You really are well informed. My older twin works for the Knights of Saros, but I think he's just a grunt. Not a noble gatekeeper like yours truly. Unlike me, he's very devout. He left the Empire a long time ago. So, new to the canon of the gatekeeper, uh, when you side with the Empire, the gatekeeper is replaced by his twin brother, who sounds exactly the same. I love it. Oh, hey, Alois. Ah? Uh? At long last we meet again. I knew you were alive. I knew you could survive. And five years on, you arrive. We're reunited. I'm glad I kept watch for you in the downstream villages all that time. I was so devoted to finding you that I left the Knights of Seros. Now I serve no one other than you. I'll protect you. Just as I promised Captain Gerald I would all those years ago. So Alois, you know, who recruited Gerald back into the Knights of Saros, has given up on the Knights of Saros. Oh, hey, Ingrid. His Highness, the new king, is in the process of unifying the kingdom under his command. His powerful army has joined forces with the Knights of Saros who moved their seat to Fargus. And now they're presenting a united front against the Imperial Army. They're our greatest enemy, absolutely. Oh, can you fight against your homeland like that, Ingrid? I mean, you will. I don't relish the idea, but there's no turning back now. For now, we should focus our efforts on the Alliance. The Kingdom and Church can come afterwards. Judith, who defends the Great Bridge of Murden, is a formidable opponent. We can't afford to drop our guard. All right. Well, uh, another quest. Sure. I need a favor. All right. Thirders. No. Or whatever. Um. Too many people to talk to. Good lord. But we're gonna keep it up. Hey, Ignatz. You might be at the monastery. That's why I made my way here. I decided to follow your path because I believed in you. But then you vanished. Now that you've returned, I have my guiding light once again. Welcome back, Professor. All right, thanks. Good to be here. Oh, hey, Caspar. All right, I'm ready to fight. Let's do this. I'm counting on you, buddy. Leave it to me. I can take on the whole. Have most of the enemy's army. I know uh, my limits now, Professor. It's funny because he doesn't. Um, obviously, no one in the kingdom classroom. Why would there be? Hey, Sylvain. Hey, Professor. It's been a really long time, hasn't it? The last five years have been full of heartbreak. Not from girls, but friends and family becoming enemies. One of the things that kept me going was the hope you'd return. And now here you are. A lot has changed, but you're back. And it's the first time I can remember being happy in a while. I guess five years of war will do that to a guy. Hey, Lawrence. House Gloucester will remain staunchly neutral in this war, even if we press into Alliance territory. My father is no threat to the Empire. Lady Edelgard surely understands that. The Great Bridge of Murden, however, is another story. I hear it is held by Judith of House Daphnum. She is renowned for her military prowess. We would do well not to underestimate her. That'll be fine. Uh, okay, talk to everyone there. Go to the dining hall. Let's see. Marianne. I have good friends in both the Alliance and Fargus, so this fighting weighs heavily on me. 
I can't bear the thought of battling the Knights of Saros to the death. I have to keep my chin up, though, right? Let's press on together, Professor. Oh, Mercedes, don't worry. You're not going to be on the front lines. <laughs> hey, Lysithia. I'm relieved you're here, Professor. It seems we've reached a stalemate on the war front. I admit I'm feeling apprehensive about fighting the Alliance. Oh, you have to cast aside your doubts. I agree. It's time to shelve my personal feelings and focus on the bigger picture. I'll fight with full force. I'm counting on you to lead us to victory, Professor. All right, see, now Lysithia. Lysithia, I need at full force. Um, all right. Guess we'll head over to the greenhouse. I'm sure I left some things growing in the past five years. Cool. Um, I don't know. Let's throw in some mixed herbs this time. Dorothea. La, 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 la. Professor. Oh my. It's so good to see you. These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing. But you, you're here. It's incredible to see you again after five years. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. Yeah, probably. One way or another. My hey, father used to be a knight in service of the royal family of Fargus. For a time, he was at the monastery. But apparently, he's back in Fargus serving as a knight again. Which means, if I fight with this army, I'll eventually have to face my own father. Probably. That scare you? Not terribly. But I've accepted my fate. I'm ready for anything. Of course, if at all possible, I would prefer not to fight my father. Don't worry, you I won't. Chose. I have no regrets. Let's see, um... The name I saw somewhere. Well, is he? I guess I'll just have to hoof it. There he is, Yuritsa. Yep, since Yuritsa is the Death Knight, and the Death Knight was working for the Flame Emperor, uh, Yuritsa is here. You've survived. How very fortunate. Unmasked. Were you dead, I wouldn't be able to fight you, but you are very much alive. Now I have a chance to kill you. A good chat. Yeah, uh, that's about my take on it. Hey, Petra. Edelgard is controlling the Empire. She is putting the pressure on the Kingdom and Alliance. Empire and religion are at open war. It will be difficult for us at first. But corrupt nobles are many. That means the common people will rebel and be joining our side. With you, Professor, the battle tides will... Uh, will turn. I have certainty. I sure hope so. For five years, I fought for the Empire. I've cut down hordes of enemies. Now I have the same look in my eyes that the boar used to have in his. The look of a savage beast who loves nothing but destruction and violence. Uh... Hmm. I don't actually know. But generally, it seems to be agree with, uh, <laughs> with who you're talking to. I can hardly hold it against him anymore. You and Edelgard must not disappoint me. Mark my words. The future you're building had better be worth all this bloodshed. All right. Uh, let's have a little tournament before going to uh
I get her hired. Jeez. Alright, let's try with Edelgard, even if she doesn't have the, uh, the ranking. I mean, she's just using a training sword anyway. She does have raw physical prowess. This is fine, actually. For the fate of Bodmin. Kind of a sweet shield. Oh, just Your death is not in vain. ignore your enemy counterattack. Sure, I'll take it. The only possible outcome. Plus, I'll take her her self sustainment with healing. I guess it only works sometimes. Where she just negates an enemy attack. Alright, um, hold on. This is where things are going to get dicey. Um, Alright, so I need to land three hits. Uh, for the enemy land six. And hope that they don't get the critical. Alright, that's not inspiring. Yeah, there it goes. Oh well, it was worth a shot. I'll just have to take that one on the chin. Fine. Let's go to Abyss. There's something kind of important here uh, that's now finally available after all this time. You know, as soon as it loads. Hey, look who it is. Hey, you, listen up. I've got something to report. It's you. You're still alive. It's been five whole years, hasn't it? Time flies when you're standing guard. That's right. I've been here the whole time. Day in and day out. Not like I have anywhere else to be. The Imperial Army hasn't interfered with us all that much, so it's business as usual here in Abyss. I mean, as usual as it gets here, anyhow. Looking pretty good in Imperial Red, gotta say. Alright, well, we want to talk to this influencer. Need something. Because now we can summon the Wayseer. This one? And we can also organize the Shadow Library, but I kind of don't soon. care about that, to be honest. Go check out this new quest. Oh, hey, Yuri. Oh, is that? It is you, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of forgot what you looked like. Ow. Ouch. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. It's just that so much has happened. It's hard to keep track, you know. Anyway, you came back, and that's what matters. Staying here wasn't a mistake. I can say that much. Nice, uh, nice shoes there, Yuri. Also, hey, Happy. This is okay. The Bert kept it safe out of the goodness of his heart. <laughs> Kidding. The Bert. He said the low lives here could be useful because they won't mind fighting dirty or rooting out spies, or something along those lines. I didn't pay much attention to that part. Oh, aren't you glad I'm back? I don't know the half of it. It's all I can do to stop myself from whooping with joy. 
All right, good to see you too, Happy. Can't believe she calls Hubert the Bert. God, her nicknames are the best. All right, take on this quest. I guess I'll take free stuff. Iron shield, gauntlets, junk, all junk. I don't know what I expected. Anyway, this room has been empty for all this time. Till now, you've got the ways here. Why, hello there. So at the ways here, we can spend renown, and we can either strengthen bonds, which is uh, well, it kind of does what it says on the tin, right? You can spend renown to develop support points. Uh, you can't spend them on pairs that are that have already reached the next conversation. The other thing you can do is you can connect fates. Uh, so yeah, we just pull up this menu. We've got all our characters available here. So you can just pick someone to, to pair them up with. So I'm going to use uh, Yuritsa as an example, uh, just because uh, he's brand new, so we've got to build up his supports anyway. He's only available in this route. Uh, I will say he's a DLC character. Uh, I think he was a free update character. Yeah, he was. Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, enough people were like, hey, what's up with this? Why is why is it that if you side with Edelgard and the Empire, Yuritsa slash the Death Knight is siding with Edelgard? Why can't he be one of your units? And then in a in an update at some point, they're like, okay, fine, he's one of your units now. If it is your wish. Grasp. So just like that, we've got uh, we've got enough. Just one uh, one of these is enough to get a character or a pairing from uh, nothing to C rank. Uh, I have checked it out already. It's uh, one to go from zero to C. Uh, it's two more to go from C to B, and three to go from B to A. Three more. Just skip this now. But the important thing is that now I don't have to worry about grinding up, uh, say, uh, ingredients so that I can have you know eight or nine dinners with everyone in one day I can just do this and like there it is it's all there I guess I'll hand in that quest because it's worth 800 renown and that means another use of uh, the services All right, got some tea for it too. Um, yeah, we're gonna go talk to Balthus and Constance, and we can wrap it up. Hey, pal, you've got a lot of nerve coming here after ignoring us for five years. Hate new look gotcha. though. All this time and you still can't take a joke, can you? Good job surviving clawing your way back to us. This day couldn't get better if it tried. I just want to move some... Yeah, move the camera so that those people don't pop in and out. Uh, it's nice to see you too, buddy. Say, now that you're back, we should celebrate with some liquid gold. We're not your students anymore, so it should be fine, yeah? Oh, 
I like this idea. We'll make it a wild party. Even the Emperor won't be able to turn it down. Hey, Constance. If you haven't heard, we'll soon be launching a full-scale assault on the Alliance. Her Majesty has searched relentlessly for you. Now that you're found, her moment has come. She looked that intensely, huh? Oh, yes. Before then, I had never known her to show such desperate resolve. The stalemate we've been locked in shall give way very abruptly. We have your reappearance to thank for that. Well, I'll take it. Uh, I guess that just about covers it. Yeah, that's everything there is to see. Um, oh, but I do kind of want... Before I forget... I'm just going to pick up a couple of uh, Abyss Seals. Oh, still not far enough. All the way to the end. Offer some renown. Uh, take two, I think. I think two is what I want. Yeah, that should do it. Um, I don't have any more exploring I really need to do, so uh, I guess that's it.